She was obsessed with looking like Pamela Anderson, so as a teenager, she got plastic surgery. She had breast augmentation, lip injections, and liposuction under her chin. Yeah, all in hopes of becoming a Playboy centerfold. Houston woman Shea Ross is revamping herself again, this time inside and out. Every guy in the world dreams about you. That was Shea Ross nine years ago on MTV's I Want a Famous Face. Aspiring to be a Playboy centerfold, she got plastic surgery to resemble Pamela Anderson. And I was just wanting big boobs and big lips and, you know, uh, attention. Now at 28, she regrets all of it. Her 32 Fs have been nothing but a headache, a backache, and the worst part, a heartache. If I knew what I knew now, um, I definitely wouldn't have done it. It's, it's definitely caused issues in relationships and, and um, you know, people not taking you seriously. Now the mom of two little girls, Shay wants a new look, a slimmer, smaller, and more natural body to look like a different celebrity. Now she's kind of aspiring more toward the uh, Brooke Burke, you know, mother of two. She's lost a lot of weight. So the implants that she has now are simply too large, really, for her uh, present station in life. And so we're going to put in some smaller implants, do a lift. Uh, as she's lost weight, the breasts have descended a little bit, but she should have a fabulous result. Just beautiful. Here is Shay today. This journey has been a long road of regrets. My message is, um, don't do it. I hope to instill in my girls that they are beautiful just the way that they are and that they don't need um, plastic surgery to look like anybody else. Clinical psychologist Monica Augusta says in a world of reality TV and even Facebook, the trend is more teens are going under the knife. And unfortunately in our society today, beauty is power. A young girl watching these shows thinks, I can do that. I, you know, these are just regular people. I can go on there and find love, find a job, you know, change my body to become someone new, someone who seems happy to have a problem-free life when in reality they don't. Augusta says the lessons here really aren't just for the girls. It's for their parents. And if we can really work with them starting at a very young age to develop that strong sense of security and identity with who they are and not how they appear, then they're going to be able to cope. I just don't want my girls to have to learn the hard way. Shay is done with her past and ready for her future. So I just recently spoke with Shay and also Dr. Rose. Shay is now a 32C. She is very happy with her new look. She's beautiful. Yeah, and again, beautiful. again clearly she is. But, yeah. but again, though, if she had a time machine and went back in time, she would not have this done. She would have never had anything done. And, but at 19, that's when you make all your mistakes. And actually, hers was documented on MTV, and she regrets that, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, well, it's story. about fixing it, isn't it? Yeah. 